What you've been looking at have been the decorations that were in Kathleen and Paul Jordan's house. And uh, they did a great job hosting it. The food was terrific. Everything was very, very nice. Now the idea on this contest is that I set the theme, the participants submit the entries, and I make the awards, and usually I, I place a premium on anything that's homemade as opposed to something that's put. If you buy something, there's a price limit of $35, but in all events, I much prefer homemade entries. Now this, uh, this contest, uh, turns out year after year, is, uh, becomes very controversial and there's an awful lot of pre-contest speculation about who's going to win. Here's, here's some of what went on in uh, this year's contest. I have all the confidence in the world. I'm coming in today actually feeling like incredibly good about it. Though, as with every year, I'm convinced that Dennis and I did the same thing. My favorite odds-on every year is Paul Jordan. Really? Paul Jordan, you know, gives it a lot of thought. Paul Jordan is always very dangerous in these contests, right, yes. and you can never count him out, and he always surprises you. So, you know, it's always up to the judges at the end of the day, right, right. but my money's on Paul. In my entry today, um, I misinterpreted it completely. <laughs> And I got the words wrong that I thought were the words and later went back and looked and like, it's a mess. Uh, Paul Jordan's always a threat. Really? Every, that's everybody's Yeah, I mean, Paul and Kathleen are the power couple as far as this contest goes. Wow, all I think. Right. And I don't, have, I don't have an entry this year. We are, I'm busy. Um, this year I think it might be in. Really? It could be in. A sleeper. How are you feeling? Dark horse. Confident, respectable submission. Don't necessarily think it's a win. Okay. Timmy. Really? Mm hmm Really? Uh-huh. Rookie outing? And he Rookie wins. outing. I think he's going to do great. You know I feel that, good uh, about Paul it. Paul Jordan is uh, feared. Feared by the other contestants. But let's see what happened. Let's go to the actual entries that were made. Now, the first entry was this. I was sort of at a loss for figuring out what it was. And it turns out, uh, you know, all the entries come in anonymously, but it turned out this was from Kathleen and she explained it. And uh, here's what she said. I, I decided to go with my emotions. I didn't really understand this year's theme. So I said, let me, let me make something that depicts how I felt when I heard it. Now the second entry was this a lightsaber. And this entry, uh, Eileen submitted it, and it really has a, a, a fair amount going for it. Uh, number one, it is homemade. Number two, it's uh, got duct tape on it, which is a plus. And number three, it's actually, the core of it is uh, uh, toilet paper rolls, uh, which uh, makes it a very, very strong entry in this contest. Now, the third entry that I opened was uh, Tim's submission. As I mentioned, Tim is a rookie. Tim picked up on the concept of in your wildest dreams. And he submitted what his wildest dreams are. Here are a few of them. I have an iPhone 6S pop into my hand at this very moment. Be the best Clash of Clans player in the entire world. With the snap of a finger, Lizzie would stop writing <laughs> So that was Tim's entry. Dennis, on the other hand, submitted this. The, the Moody Blues. The Moody, oh. the Moody Blues. Wait, can I read it? Stay yeah. Here. You can help me out. Oh, look. This is not going to be that. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> Uh, that, that, that's a keeper. That's going to get framed. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. Let me. Uh... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Picture book that has a lot of terrific pictures in it and I suffered a kind of a vapor lock in my brain. I thought he was focusing on Moody and the reality is that when he was a boy my nickname for him was Blue. So it was the Moody Blues and I really regret that I didn't get it. I didn't get it actually until I was in the car going home and Eileen explained it to me. So. I just had some kind of a vapor lock going on there, and, uh, I, and which I regret. Now the third was uh, Paul Jordan, who also focused on uh, In Your Wildest Dreams, and he highlighted uh, 
the possibility that didn't come to pass of the Mets winning uh, the World Series. And uh, here's, here's a little bit of uh, what was in his, his uh, presentation. Upon a time in his wildest dreams, at the top of the 12th inning, with Addison Reed pitching for the Mets, Salvador Perez hit a single for the Royals. Pinch hitting for Perez, Jared Dyson stole a base. I remember that. And scored on a single by pinch hitting Christian Colon. Colon scored on a hit by Paolo Orlando, who had substituted into the game earlier. The Royals loaded the bases, and Lorenzo Cain drove home three more runs with a double up Guadalo Colon. Please stop. Please stop reading the. So, those were the entries. Now, here are the awards. Uh, Special award for first entry ever. Great, great job, Tim. Rookie of the year. Rookie of the year. Rookie of the year. <laughs> Rookie of the year awards go to Timmy. Definitely give that to Tim. Tim. Who who submitted uh, this one? Right here. That's you. That's, he wants a moment to explain it to you. That's anonymous. That's anonymous. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, it says already. Cool. This one. This one. Who do you think did this one? Uh, I blew them out. Mommy, mommy assisted both. So that's where mommy's yeah. brain power went to assisting the two McKeever entries. All right. As a helper, there you go. Really good. <laughs> but uh, you're not the winner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did the lightsaber. That it, was me. I'll tell you what. I mean, always yeah. wins. Is it me or yeah. she, she wins? The last 10 years, she wins like 40% of the time. So, uh, I'm talking about controversial, and it is controversial, Eileen winning yet again, and uh, I don't know how often she's won, but uh, I, I, she did a great job with that lightsaber. But anyway, great party, great contest. Uh, I'm going to start thinking right now about next year's theme, and we'll be back next year. In the meantime, you all have a good time at your parties. Hey guys, guys, what do you do? You say thank you. What did you get? What did you get, dude?